to program the baby for a simulation, begin at the All Baby screen or the Available Baby. Select the baby that you want to program. Now before you can click Program Baby, you have to verify that there is a green communication indicator under COMM. The status has to say Available. And at the bottom right corner, there has to be a green wireless communication adapter icon. Once you have confirmed all those, click where it says Program Baby. Now the first thing you want to do is assign a class folder. What will happen when the simulation is over and the baby sends its report into the control center, it will go into that specific class folder that you assigned. You can program an unlimited number of class folders. So here we'll create a new one. Let's say we'll call it period three. Click OK. And you'll see now on the left hand side of the control center, we have a new folder that says period three. It says zero and it will remain zero until the simulation is over with and the reports have been retrieved. Next, where it says student, it's optional, but you can put in the student's name. Let's call her Jessica Martin. And then you'll want to assign the ID that the student will wear around their wrist. You see we have ID one and ID two. For the first time you get the babies, the IDs are not assigned. You will have to do that in order to finalize the programming. The control center will not allow you to continue until you have actually programmed an ID. So take an ID, you'll see that there's a five digit number embossed on that. Click the little edit pencil here, and then type in the ID that you are holding. It uses the numbers zero through nine, and the letters A through F. So like the ID that I'm holding, it says seven E eight two A. Now it doesn't matter if you use capital letters or not, because once you click OK, it'll automatically go to caps. So click OK, and our new ID is assigned. Now where it says baby, this is the name that the student would like to give the baby for that simulation. So let's say they want to call it Nick Martin. Now, Baby ID is the factory name of the baby. You can change it to whatever you would like, but this is the permanent name for the baby. So if let's say you have five babies and this is the third baby in the group, maybe you could call it baby three, or you could keep it to the name that it was assigned at the time of programming, or you could give it a proper name. It's entirely up to you, but you'd want to assign whatever is easiest for you to keep track of the baby. So then set the starting day and time and the stopping day and time. The control center takes the time from your computer. So as long as the date and time in your computer is correct, that time will be relayed into the babies. So let's say we want the baby to start today at 5 p.m. And the stop on Friday at 6 a.m. Now underneath that, this green box tells us how long it'll be before the simulation starts, and then it will let us know as to how long the simulation is going to last. Next is a schedule order. Uh, now you can go to schedule helper here, and you can assign an easy mix, medium mix, hard mix, or you can use the drop downs. And let's say you want to give the same schedule every day, you can do that. It's entirely up to you. Whatever is easiest for you and for the students. Um, otherwise, just click the mix and it'll take all five schedules for easy, medium, and hard and shuffle them up. So let's say we're just gonna do an easy mix here. I click easy mix, click OK. And then you have the quiet times. This is completely at your discretion. Quiet times, when programmed properly, the baby will not ask for any care. So let's say that they have a wedding going on or some event that you feel necessitates a quiet time. You can program the quiet time. So let's say that there is a family event on, let's say we have Wednesday here 
at 5 p.m. and it's going to go for five hours. And look at this green box that's on the right hand side here. It will tell you the total hours of the quiet time. So if you set the quiet time properly, you'll see the proper number of hours in this green box. Now, in the quiet time, the baby will not ask for any care, but it will cry if it is mishandled. So any head supports, any rough handling, shaken baby, wrong positions will cause the baby to cry in a quiet time. Now you can set additional ones. Now you have only three quiet times. Each quiet time can be set to a maximum of 12 hours. So now that you have assigned your student name, the ID, the starting day and time, the stopping day and time, the schedule order, the quiet times, click where it says done. Get a little pop-up box that says you'll need to press the send to baby to send your programming instructions to your babies. Let's click where it says I got it. And now you can look at this one more time to make sure that the programming and everything is set to your liking. And then click here where it says send to babies. Then the baby will chime. And check your status here. Currently it says pending. Now it says ready. Since the baby is starting in the future, which will be at five o'clock in the afternoon, status is ready. If you set the starting time for right away, it'll show a status of active. So now that baby has been programmed, you are free to close the control center and unplug the X stick because once baby is programmed, it no longer needs the control center.